hey guys, listen, and I'm sitting here listening, and the message I'm talking about right now is going to be about time and what's on the on the radio, but, you know, I got no time. I got, 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 got no time. All right, I won't sing. I got to keep you following me. If I start singing, y'all be dropping like flies. But anyway, I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about time management. You know, time is one of the biggest things that people don't seem to have anymore. We don't have time to meet with our neighbors. We don't have time to barely spend it with our family, working our butts off. The only thing we have time for is to just, you know, go to work and pay bills. And by the time we get home, we're exhausted. Can I get an amen? Well, you know, one, do a Google search on time man management. And you will find a ton of books out there, a ton of websites, thousands and thousands of them. But the truth of the matter is you can't manage time. Time's going to click on no matter what. And the real truth of the matter is, is we do what we feel is important to us. That's it. We feel it's important to get up and go to work, so we get up and go to work. We feel it's important to uh, go to the dentist. We make an appointment, we go to the dentist. We feel it's important to go to the doctor when we're feeling sick. We make an appointment, go to the doctor. If we feel it's important to go play golf. We make an appointment to go play golf. If we feel it's important to go get our nails done, your ladies will make an appointment to go get your nails done. So, you know, if you really admit it, you, you do what you want to do with the time that you got left over from doing what you have to do. My question is, why not make some of the things that are more important to you in your life a have to instead of a want to? You know, we book our time for everything else. We book our time to go to work. We book our time to go to the doctor, to get our teeth done, to get our hair done, to go play golf, you know, whatever. If you're going to go get a massage, whatever else you book your time with, go get your car fixed. You book time to do that. What I'd like you to start doing is booking time for each other. You know, everybody, including me, says the most important thing in our life is our family and our relationship with God. And yet they're the very few things that we actually spend much time, much of our time on, you know? I want you to change it. If you feel like you've gotten sucked in to the world, just pulling all the energy out of you that you don't have time for your children, you know, or time for your spouse, you need to change it. And the way you change it is by booking it. Open up the calendar, pick days and say, this is the day I'm going on a date with my wife. This is the day I'm gonna have a daddy daughter date night and gentlemen, you better be dating your daughters before they start dating guys because by dating you, you show them what kind of a man is that you want them to date. You show them how they should be treated. So take time out to date your daughter frequently. My daughter and I always had a daddy-daughter date night. As a matter of fact, we still do occasionally and she's in way into her 20s with children. We still have daddy-daughter dates, right? Have dates with them. Have father-son dates if you have sons. Do it. All right? Then you need to have a date with the family doing stuff. And listen, don't be you going out there watching them play on the playground and you sitting on the bench with your phone. That's not spending time with them. All right? Get on the playground with them for crying out loud. Don't be such an old fart. Roll down the hill with them. Play games. Listen, if they enjoy you when they're young and you're constantly doing stuff with them, this is a proven fact, I know it is in my life, that they'll still enjoy stuff to do stuff with you when you're when they're older. So that when they become teens and no teen wants to mess around with mom or dad anymore, yours will still want to. Why? Because they had a good time when they were spending it with you. My children are all grown and gone, but they still want to spend time with us. All right? They did it even when they were teens. Didn't mind spending time with us. Actually wanted to. And a lot of it goes back to because we spent time with them when they were younger. Because that's what's most important. If you're married, spend time with your spouse. Make a date night. Do it at least once a week. Get a sitter to take care of the kids, whatever you're going to do. And you know what? Even if the kids are gone, have a date night anyway. Go out to eat. Go to a show, do something, just you and them. Too often, you know, I want you to, next time you go around, look at it, look at everybody with, looking at their phones, not even talking to each other anymore. How do you keep a relationship going if you don't commune and communicate with one another? You can't, all right? Some, some of y'all out there got more relationship with your phone than you do your own family. Shame on you. Ouch, I know, I know. You should be wearing steel toe shoes when you listen to my tapes. 
But don't get caught up in that mess like so many other people do. Book time with the things that are most important for you. Spend time with God. That's important, real important. Because he'll speak to your heart. He'll be telling things you should be doing and shouldn't be doing. All right? He'll give you energy to keep on going. He'll give you strength. He'll give you peace during hard times because you're going to go through them. And book time for yourself to recharge. Some of you people, and I'm going to say to the, to, it's a fact, most of the women out there outrun the guys as far as the stuff that they do. Because the guys might put in hard at work, but they come home and it's usually, that's it. They'll snap a beer open, maybe get behind a lawnmower. Ooh, you know, they, they re relax on the lawnmower. But the woman keeps on going. She's got to do the laundry. She's got to do the cooking. Got to tend to the kids if you got them. Got to do the cleaning, all right? One, spend time helping them do that stuff. But give them time to recharge too. You know, if you have children and you can't get a sitter, dad, you stay at home with the kids for a while. Send her out. Say, hey, take the afternoon out. Take a Saturday off. Why don't you and the girls go out and get a massage, get a pedicure or whatever you got to do? Because they need time for themselves too. But all of that stuff needs to be booked. So if you really want to take care of your schedule, do it properly. Prioritize the important things in your life. And if you say that your health and your family is the most important outside your relationship with God, then dang it, book time to make sure it lasts and spend time with each other. All right, it's my rant for today. Take it to heart. Book that time. Love you. God bless you. 